It's the Flow Friday Night Sports Show, and it's time for us now to have a look at Western Air Netball. Uh, the always smiling Rihanna Freeman joins me on the line at the moment, and she's smiling even more at the moment. How are you, Rihanna? I'm very good, thank you. Excellent. Uh, good reason for you to be smiling because those West Coast Hawks keep winning. You were away last week in Sejuna taking on the Blues. That's where we'll start. And you had a good solid 10-goal win, 45-35. to 35. How did it go? Yeah, um, look, we're trying to go under the radar. So you can probably uh, tone the talk of the Hawks down a little bit if you like. <laughs> but I'm um, absolutely really happy with that 10-goal win. Um, it was a really close game probably into the last quarter. Hawks really put their foot down and took away with that 10-goal lead. Um, special mention's got to go to Georgia from the Blues. She played goal defence, kept our goal attacks quiet for the day um, and put a lot of pressure on on the ring. But special mention would have to go to Tegan Joyce who actually got the Anzac medal for the for the game and she played goalkeeper and absolute cracking game. Her and Alana Beard were on fire in defence. That was the closest match of the round of the A-grade matches. Uh, of course, the Hawks did well throughout the other grades as well, and uh, we'll talk about them in the future. But uh, for now, we'll move on to the other A-grade clashes. Wirrala, the other new kids on the block, they keep winning as well. They beat Thevenard in the A-grade 43-25. to They did. So an 18 goal win, which they would be really happy with. But um, overall, I don't think either team is really happy with this game because, unfortunately, Courtney Trowbridge, who's a fantastic goalie for Sevenard, went down during the game. I'm not really sure what quarter it is and did her Achilles. So um, we are wishing her all the best and a speedy recovery. She's a very good physio in Sejuna. So uh, that's uh, not a good thing for her at the moment. So wishing her a speedy recovery. But um, Hayley Webb plays in defence for Wheeler and she's a fantastic player and Anyone that knows anything from previous Midwest would know that name, and um, she came away with the Anzac medal for that game. And the final match of the round, Western United, uh, they bounced back. They took on Kniba at Kniba, um, and uh, they did a bit of a number on them in the A grade, 57 to 35, a solid win for them. Yeah, that's right. So um, obviously I didn't get to see this game, but I have spoken to a few of the girls who said the the score didn't necessarily reflect the game. Those who were sitting and watching and didn't weren't aware of the score probably um, wouldn't have thought that that would have been the, the difference in score. So that's always a good sign. Um, Westies obviously were a little bit more accurate than Kniba to get that lead. Um, Chloe Carr, who is normally a really good defender, um, but I hear was in goals on Saturday for Westies. She actually came away with the Anzac medal playing goal attack so a massive congratulations not only to get that but to get it um, playing outside of a normal position if we look at the ladder quickly after just two games there are two undefeated sides there are two sides with one and one and two sides without a win yet and believe it or not the two sides that are undefeated are uh, former midwest clubs Wirrala and the west coast hawks so midwest representing in western air (laughs) Yeah, that's right. Um, Look, I think uh, one thing that we've got to say is we all three, all six teams played in Sejuna on the weekend and uh, the vibe around town was absolutely fantastic and uh, driving into the Blues home ground, we had this massive banner that said, we welcome West Coast Talks. And so, um, and I do believe we will have received the same treatment where they played. So um, we have been very welcomed and very happy to be where we are and uh, I think uh, Sejuna was alive and electric on Saturday with all those teams playing. This week, it'll be nice and quiet in Sejuna because everyone's going their separate ways. Uh, We might start (laughs) by having a look at uh, what's going on at Wirrala, and that will be the Sejuna Blues coming down the highway there. I reckon this A-grade clash will be match of the round. Yeah, I do. I think this will be a really good match-up. Um, we're all coming off. I think Sophie Keller is out. She did her driver last Saturday. It's going to be a massive out for Wirrala. Um, very accurate goalie and works really well in the ring with Emma. Um, I don't believe Blues have any goal, uh, any outs from last weekend. Um, they a really good side, and I think as the season goes, they'll build and become even stronger. So I think this really will be a good match-up. But I, even with Sophie out, would go with the tip of Wirrala for this one. Uh, your West Coast Hawks, you're welcome Knibber to town for the first time. I'm at Pidnippy, I believe, is where this game will be played. Is that right? Yep, that's correct. You guys will start raging hot favourites and should win comfortably, but who knows? Uh, it depends on who's available for Knibber, I think. That's right. And also, um, I think matchups is a big thing. And when you're going into a team that you've never played before, we have no idea how we're going to match up. Um, they might have a few key players that shut a few of our key players down, and that can make a massive difference in a game. So I agree, Hawks will go in favourites, but we are most definitely not underestimating the Knibber girls. Uh, the other game, it will be a beauty as well. Uh, Western United at home in Penong. Uh, Thevenard will come out there. These two sides, traditional 
rivals over the last few years in what was far west netball. So uh, they know each other fairly well. They do indeed. I think Seve not having Courtney is going to be a massive out for them. Not seeing Westie's side yet, I can't really comment too much about how they play or how they'll match up. But I do know Seve have got a couple of strong players up their sleeve. So um, hard one to tip, but look, I'm going to tip Seve for the win for this one. Now we've got some news from around the association before we wrap up. Where do you want to start? Um, Well, we've got association trials on Sunday, which is very exciting for the new league. And we've got... Uh, for the first time in a while, Western Air are going to go with a 13s team, which I think is fantastic. There's um, a bit more interest and a few more numbers with the extra two teams. So uh, fantastic that Western Air have stepped up and put in a 13. So we'll have 13s, 15s, 17s and seniors trialling. And we've actually got, I've seen the senior trial nominations and there's a bit over 15 girls nominated and they are looking fantastic. So I'm super excited to get out there on Sunday and check those guys out. And we're also going to have three girls who won't be able to make association trials because they were will be at academy training. I just want to give these girls a shout out, and that's Summer Braz, Chloe Evans, and Jasmine Eremiah. Um, I know two of those girls are from Hawks, so I know how they play, and Jazz is a previous Hawks player. So um, I know all three girls here, and they are fantastic players, and I think they're going to do wonderful things at academy this year. Back to the association teams that have been picked. What strip are you wearing this year? Is it still the green machine strip, or is there a change in colours for the association? What What's the story? Do you know? Well, that is a bit of a hot topic, that one, actually. Ah. Um, we are definitely looking at getting uh, new colours and new uniforms, but with the time restraint and everything else we had going on, we haven't really had a chance. No, um, no. It's a bit of an ongoing topic. We've got an association Monday morning, but as soon as I know some new colours, I'll be happy to give you the inside scoop. Uh, anything else before we wrap up? Yeah, I do. I just want to give a massive shout out. Um, starting up a bit of a new association, both football and netball, is a lot of work. So first of all, thank you very much to all those involved. It's been absolutely fantastic and a lot of work. But a massive shout out has got to go to the Sojourner Fortune Hotel Motel. And they've come on board with some big dollars with sponsorship this year. And I think to get both the football and netball up and running, it takes a lot of effort, but also a lot of money. So a massive shout out to them. And um, when you can get around them going for a beer and a feed, I'm sure that'd be much appreciated. Yep, spot on. Uh, Support all of the local sponsors, local businesses who look after our local sporting clubs and associations. We need them thriving so that local sport continues to thrive. Good on you, Rihanna. Good luck at Pid Nippy this weekend. I look forward to catching up with you next week to find out how you and everyone else in Western Air Netball went. No worries. Looking forward to it. Thanks for having me.